It's got 3.7 thousand people who've actually gone and repinned it. So check this out, 1.7 million that come over and buy your $100 commission affiliate product. Boom, you just made What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna talk about how to make a thousand dollars with Pinterest. I just got back, I was uh, taking the car up, the i8, for those of you who haven't seen it yet. Uh, I absolutely love this thing. So I figured I'd shoot the video out here for one, to get your attention, but for two, it's just a really nice day out, so I thought I'd shoot the intro out here. I almost wasn't gonna shoot this video again because I'm dealing with like sinus congestion issues, but the crazy part is, if you guys ever have any sinus trouble, this is nuts. I went on YouTube and there's like this thing where you use these different acupressure points, like by your eyebrows and like on your cheekbones, and it was nuts. I tried it, it took like two minutes, and the sinus started just like draining. So if you hear it in my voice and I sound kind of congested, that is why, but seriously, no lie, it is legit. Some of you might remember the other Pinterest video I did last year sometime. It was absolutely fire. Everyone really liked it. So I decided we're gonna do another Pinterest video today and share some new strategies with you guys. To be exact, we've got five steps. It was four steps, and then I turn it into five steps to make it easier on how to make a thousand dollars. Now the cool part about this is, is that you can rinse and repeat it. If you're satisfied with a thousand dollars, you could just stay there. If you wanna make more than that, then you just continue rinsing and repeating the strategy. I don't care if you're starting with zero money you're broke this method works as long as you do the work right that's the key you have to do the work so I'm gonna break it down five simple steps as long as you smash that like button for me all right guys so let's get into this we are on Pinterest right now and I'm gonna break down all five steps that you need to know for this make sure that you follow along each step remember you can rinse and repeat this method over and over again. All right, so the first thing that we need to do, this is step number one, is we need to pick a niche. I wanna show you how to do this properly. You know, normally this kind of stuff can be a little bit boring, but I'm gonna make this really quick and really simple so that we can get into the good stuff. I wanna teach you how to niche down when you're going into Pinterest. So let me give you an example. Let's say, for example, you're deciding to target the, the craft niche, okay? I want you to think about this because this is where a lot of people go wrong when they're getting started with making money online or creating a side business or Pinterest, any of this stuff, is that they go a little bit too broad. And it's okay to like start here, but I want you guys to start thinking of drilling down a step further. Like how can I go down a step further from crafts? So think about the different types of crafts if you're going to enter this niche. And this is purely an example. There's all kinds of other niches out there like real estate, making money, or fishing, or different hobbies, or like interior design. There's so many of them on Pinterest and we'll kind of go through and we'll explore that in a minute here. But let's just pretend that I decided I wanna do something in the craft space. What kind of crafts? Maybe I wanna do t-shirt making. Right, that would be an example of drilling down. So we took it a step further from crafts down to t-shirt making. We're getting a lot more specific. Okay, well what kind of t-shirt making? There's so many different types. There's direct to garment. There's, um, you know, like actually painting on different designs. There's screen printing, or there's like um, heat press. Let's just say that. So now I drill down into t-shirt making using a heat press. So now we're getting pretty specific here all these different types of heat presses. Well, what kind, like, what kind? What am I gonna do with that? Am I gonna press uh, a screen parent transfer? Am I gonna do, let's just say vinyl. Okay, so now we're getting into doing vinyl t-shirt designs with heat press. Okay, and now we can even get even more specific. What are people who are doing vinyl t-shirt designs with a heat press, what are they looking for? Like, are there different brands? Well, there are. So there might be, maybe there, everyone's looking for stuff regarding Cricut. Cricut is like a certain brand. I might have spelled that wrong. I think it might be Cricut like that. But we'll look into this as we start to dive in now. But I wanted to show you this. I'm in my Pinterest account here right now. If you don't have a Pinterest account, that's okay. Just go create one so that you can actually browse around and we'll talk more about you know what to do with it. But let's just say I wanna come up here and I'm gonna search for uh, Cricut. If I start typing in Cricut, um, okay, so I did spell it wrong, C-R-C-U-T. If I start typing in Cricut, 
we can see these different search terms and this is what I'm looking for. We've got Cricut projects, Cricut projects to sell. These are all different content ideas that I can model and use for ideas. We've got uh, Cricut ideas, Cricut vinyl. So I'm just gonna do Cricut ideas, okay? And I'm starting to see some really interesting stuff here pop up. Um, 10 things I wish I knew about my Cricut maker. Uh, how to buy craft supplies on a budget. That's a This is a promoted. So avoid stuff that says promoted because those are ads. Uh, 27 Cricut craft supplies from the Dollar Tree. Best dollar store products to use for the Cricut. Now this is what's really powerful about Pinterest and why I want you guys to niche down is because Pinterest is a really powerful platform for SEO, which stands for search engine optimization. And if you do this right, you can actually get your pins ranking in Google, which is going to drive a ton of traffic. And I'm gonna show you how to monetize this, but it's important that you know how to get all of this traffic. So let me show you an example in Google here. If I come in here and I type in Dollar Tree Cricut Supplies, you can see here that this is like the first thing that's ranked. There's one here. There's some videos, but then there's this one right here. This is a Pinterest post. Let's actually click on it. Let's check it out. Okay, so here it is. It's a blog article that it's linking to. But what you can see is that it's 10 craft supplies you should buy at the Dollar Tree for Cricut. Save yourself lots of money with this great list of 10 craft supplies you should buy at the Dollar Tree. A very simple content piece. It's got 3.7 thousand people who have actually gone and repinned it. Um, let's open up their profile here too as well. Let's just kind of see uh, what their profile looks like too. So check this out. 1.7 million monthly viewers. That is an insane amount of traffic coming through this Pinterest profile here, looking at all these different boards. And let's look at their blog page here because this is how they're doing it. 10 crosswise you should buy at the Dollar Tree. There's so many different ways you can monetize. They've got an email newsletter. They're collecting an email list. Boom, that's one way. They've got ads popping up at the bottom. That's another way. Um, I don't know if they're, okay, here's more ads on the side. It looks like they're doing an email list and ads, and that's kind of the combination of things. They've got a disclosure up here. If I click this disclosure, I'm guessing it's gonna say something about affiliate stuff. Uh, so they get paid by sponsorships, uh, advertising. Um, let's see what else here. Amazon, so they're, they're doing Amazon affiliate program. Um, target affiliate program. So that's pretty interesting. We can actually find out exactly kind of how they're monetizing, uh, which is great. That's step one. Step one is to pick that niche and actually go out there and figure out what it is you're gonna make content around. And you can see why that's super beneficial because you're gonna be ranking. Step number two, I want you to model proven content in boards. So what I would actually go as far as to do is I would look at someone like this who's really successful. We know they're successful because of the amount of repins they got on their pin, right? 3.7 right here, a uh, thousand. And then 1.7 million monthly viewers. We know they're successful. So what I would do is I would then go in and I would look at their boards. I would go, I would create a Pinterest profile I would try to model this. Now, when I say model, I don't mean directly copy, right? You wanna be unique, you wanna put your own creative twist on it, but you shouldn't deviate from what's working either. You wanna try and do something very similar to what they're doing. So you could see that they've got different blogs for like autumn ideas. Um, they've got stuff about bedrooms, bathrooms, do-it-yourself house stuff, craft ideas. Um, so pretty interesting. We could go through here here do it yourself Michaels Michaels is a craft store So that makes sense dollar store decor So that's pretty interesting and kind of goes along with with this content here So I would try and model some of that stuff and the other thing I would do is I would go and I would create content Similar to theirs uh, a site that you can use to create pins with um, Is canva.com so check canva.com out a very powerful site which will allow you to create easy pins like this, like you could see how they did this 27 Cricut supplies from the Dollar Tree. You can create something like that really easily on Canva without any design experience. You could go on a site like fiverr.com and have someone create it for you if you don't wanna create it. But that's step two, is you're gonna to wanna to start creating some of this content. Step three is you're gonna to wanna to find affiliate products to promote or some way to monetize this. Now this is the really cool part about Pinterest here. Um, so if I go on this pin and I click on it, it goes automatically to 
a blog, okay? Now, she could have linked this to anything, but she linked it to her blog because she's doing something really smart, which is what I call a profit multiplier. And I'll explain to you what that is. As long as you smash the like button, if you haven't already, I'll explain to you what that is. But this is the unique thing about Pinterest is that we could go and we could technically link that pin to anything. You could link it to um, a drop shipping store. So if you wanted to go on, let's just say AliExpress, and I wanted to find heat transfer vinyl, I could go and create like a drop shipping store and I could go in and uh, basically charge more than they're charging on AliExpress. So if AliExpress is charging $1.88 here with free shipping, I could on my store list it for let's say $10. So someone could, I could link out to my store then, charge $10 for it and then go and buy it on AliExpress and use the money that they paid me, the $10, to buy it from AliExpress and ship it directly to the customer. That could be one way I could do it. The other thing I could do is I could create a digital product of my own if I wanted. So I could link directly from my pin here. Instead of it going to like a blog, I could link it to um, a digital product I created that maybe was about you know how to get into heat transfer vinyl or something like that. Or I could find an affiliate product if I went in and try and put in how to start, you know, heat transfer vinyl t-shirt business, I'm sure I could find in Google other sellers who created a digital product to sell. My point is, is pick one of those if you want a direct link, you know, find an affiliate product or something like that. But if you want to do the profit multiplier, which is what this lady is doing, there's just so many different ways. So that is step three, which is basically pick how you're going to monetize and start getting it set up. I think I'm going to separate step three and step four. So step three is decide how you're going to monetize, whether it's like affiliate direct linking, if you want to do it really quickly and get started. But step four would be to move into uh, getting a profit multiplier set up like a blog. And what you would do is you would always link to your blog because then you can be building an email list. You can be adding in ads from Google AdSense. So now we've got two ways we're monetizing. You could be doing affiliate links. Like here, she's linking to stuff. I don't know if she's linking to affiliate stuff. I know she said in her affiliate disclosure that she's got Amazon affiliate program going on there. So boom, now we've got three, you know, profit multipliers in here. Four, we could be linking to our own product. We could have like um, our email list go to an ebook that we sell on how to get started doing this stuff. Okay, and then step five, and this is what I want you guys to do once you really start scaling and you really want to start growing. Once you have content up, I would say get five boards up minimum, put in maybe five posts in each board to start with. Okay, so it's not too much, right? We're talking about maybe 25 content pieces there. Then what I want you to do is I want you to find popular accounts like this one, and you can go through and start looking at their pins. And what you can do is you can look at the comments that they get, you can look at the people who um, are following this. So uh, let me go back here. And you can start following these people who follow this account. Now the idea behind this is, and Pinterest lets you follow so many per day, I believe. I'm not sure of the exact amount, you'd have to Google it. But what the, the point of this is, is that if you follow people, they're going to see your profile pop up that you follow them. Likely they're going to go and check out your profile. And that's an opportunity to get them to your blog, your affiliate offer, to see your pins. It's also an opportunity to get them to follow you. Some people are gonna like what they see. They're gonna decide to follow you back. And boom, you know, you're, you've are you just gained a new fan who's gonna see all of your things that come up to play over and over and over again. So let's pretend that you found an affiliate product to promote for $100. Let's say you get $100 commission every time you promote that product. I'll get my notepad back up here, okay? Let's say you have 10 people per day that come over and buy your $100 commission affiliate product. Boom, you just made $1,000 from that then. All right guys, so there you have it. That is the strategy, that is the method. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash a like on it if you haven't already. And although I don't add as many videos to the channel as I used to because I'm busy doing other things, building some software businesses, you know the drill. When I upload, the content is awesome. You're not gonna wanna miss my next upload. So do yourself a favor right now, drop below the video, hit the subscribe button, take the bell notification icon so that you get notified on my next video upload. You will get sent a free notification that it is live. Until next time guys, I will see you in another video. I am Paul James, peace out. Oh yeah, and if you haven't yet, Go follow me on Instagram, at HelloPaulJames. I share behind the scenes content there that you won't get anywhere else. I post some awesome stuff. You don't want to miss it.